really went to work as soon as last season ended, looking to build on that three and nine. Here's Castellanos' first completion. Ball comes out, and Holy Cross recovers. Third and five now for the Eagles. They need the 39 to move the sticks. Castellanos will run. Good blocks from the wide receivers. He finds his seam, and he's over midfield. 17 yards on the ground for Thomas Castellanos. Jeremiah Franklin, the tight end in motion. Castellanos looking to throw. Monty coming for him. Castellanos toward the end zone, and it's hauled in just a yard shy. Good catch by Lewis Bond, who Jeff Hafley said. Second and goal. Robes show dancing through the line and into the end zone. A power drive for Boston College to get him on the board first. It is hard to stop him with one tackler. And you Matthew Suka said, I throw it up to Jalen Coker. I expect he's coming down with it every single time. He's great at those contested catches. Here comes some pressure on Sluka. Gets away with it, has some space, and Matthew Sluka gains a first down. That's what he can do improvising <laughs> the game 17. Those are his words. Here we go. Let's see what he does. On third and one. It's an end around to Quinton Gregory, and he's going nowhere. Vinny De Palma and Cam Arnold snuff that one. It's an option. Sluka keeps it. He surges forward and picks up the first down, gaining four. Slow progression down the field for the Crusaders. Sluka looking to pass. He runs. Broke contain. Matthew Sluka first down and more into the red zone, down to the 17. Luca over the middle, it's complete. First down and more to the end zone and down a yard short. Blake Youngwood, his first catch of the season, sets up first and goal. Fuller takes it forward, lowers the shoulder, and he has his sixth touchdown <laughs> of the season. How about that, Jordan Fuller and... Matt Sluka getting in the mix, getting a little feisty out in the field. You saw Sluka getting the crowd going. Seven. Holy Cross uses nearly nine minutes of game clock. Pounded it out on the ground. The tide picks up. He learns that protection of that clock in his head. Second and five. Carry for Cam Barfield. And he falls forward down to the 31. A four-yard gain. Another third and one coming. Dylan Springer on the tackle for Holy Cross. You know, Mark, Jeff Athley told us we liked how we ran the ball last week. Just we're in situations where they didn't get to run it anywhere near as much as they'd like. This is much more the way the Eagles want to play offense. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, they only possessed the ball for about 20 minutes. NIU held it for 37 minutes in the day. It's not a lot of opportunities to run. Another third and one. Robichaux makes the first man miss and gains the first down. Ooh. He's carrying <laughs> Jake Dobbs with him all the way to the 44. He took Dobbs on an eight-yard bender. For Boston College. Robichaux charges forward. That extra surge is enough. Put the shoulder into Jacob Dobbs and gain two yards. First down, Boston College. The wide receiver O'Keefe in the backfield. He takes it from Castellanos. Turns forward with a head of steam. Bounces off a tackle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. And Ryan O'Keefe. Dead to right and just a great job of slipping out of that. I leaned on him a lot and his family and got to catch up with them before the game. We miss Coach and, and we love him. And Sean Duggan, the D coordinator, he played for him too. He said he encourages them and encourages them to be a coach. Only fitting he's honored here in this Holy Cross Boston College game, the two schools that maybe meant the most to him. And Brad transferred from Texas State, originally from Toronto. He loves kind of the fire he brings, but can't get penalties. Pressure coming, Castellano slings it out to Ryan O'Keefe, who was once again lined up in the backfield, and he makes 16 yards out of that. Castellano heaves it down the sideline for Jaden Williams. That's in the bucket. Perfect pass inside the 10. You have the give option to Robichaux. Castellano can follow him in if he needs. He'll fake it. Castellanos on the bootleg to the end zone. George Takis is there. Touchdown, Boston College. All right, well, good thing I'm not calling plays. <laughs> good bootleg call. 
big drop that deflected off his hands that led to an interception. Clock moving now at a minute 10 to go before halftime. Luca down the seam looking for Justin Shorter. He wow. makes the catch and the flag comes out. Falling down, he brought it in and Holy Cross is in business. Luca looking to throw. A space in front. Luca pops to the outside. He sidesteps a tackle, drops the shoulder and scores. <laughs> Touchdown, Holy Cross. No, Matthew Luca. Patriot Offensive Player of the Year. First team preseason All-American. Gets away from the tackle by the safety and then runs over Elijah Jones. For the Looks like Castellanos has gotten more comfortable throwing the ball as this game's gone along as well. That's a good one go over the middle. It's pulled in in traffic by Dino Tomlin. And he has been true blue since the start of camp. Liam Connor right down the middle reestablishes a two-score lead for the Eagles with a second left before halftime. I've had experience uplifting athletes for many years and wanted to highlight them for their effort off the field. It's a pump and go, and Sloka hits Tyler Purdy, the running back, for a big gain up over 23 yards. Two seconds left on the play clock here. Luca gives it to Jordan Fuller. He's got a seam. Fuller down the sideline. Only John Pupil in front of him. Fuller shoves him through and he's down to the 12. Well, there's a big chunk play. We've been talking during half today. We haven't seen a whole lot of Jordan Fuller. It's Luca to throw. Now he scrambles. Luca calling out a block. Drops the shoulder. He's into the end zone again. Matthew Sluka's second score of the game. And Holy Cross is back within four. Good coverage on the back end. Boston College dropped in zone, and they thought they stopped the run pretty well. This week has been a little bit of a different story. It's time to bow up. And Holy Cross gaining about eight yards of play right now. Matthew Sluka has been doing a lot of that work with his legs. Here's a big chunk more than eight. He's out to the 45. He gains 20 in a first down. So look, look at it throw on first down. He's pressured. He eludes the sack. Matthew Sluk is on the go. Flag is out as he's into Boston College territory. This is likely coming back. But he averted the ultimate disaster of a sack there. High school in Texas. And that guy can play some football. Scouts love him. Yeah. It might be the best prospect in terms of draft that they have coming out of Holy Cross this year. Castellanos had all day, scans the field, finds Jake Williams wide open. Oh, Williams put it on the turf, but it's recovered by Boston College. Cam Barfield found the loose ball there. Zuluka gives it to Jordan Fuller this time. Ooh. Fuller popped the football out. It's loose on the deck. Who's got it? I think Holy Cross got back on top of it. Jaden Williams back to return. This should be the best field position Boston College has had all game, particularly after that punt is a low liner that's fielded at the 42, and Jaden Williams has space to go into plus territory out at the 45 where he delivered a blow. We got him. We got to score right now, and then we got to get the ball back to the offense and do it again. Right, well, the first step was scoring. They listen to Coach <laughs> Jeff Halfley as Jeremiah Franklin is in off the touchdown pass from Thomas Castellanos. Him after last game and they said we need to get him more involved and I think he adds a spark in the past game. Fullback Phoenix Dixon will lead the way up front Fuller takes it he has the first down and more Jordan Fuller breaks a tackle and he's out over the 45 as Araku is out here now on a passing down third and five coming for Sluka, Sluka throws it out to Coker, wow, the adjustment what and he got the foot in Jalen Coker with the first down conversion inside the third. Sluka's pressure this time and down he goes. Sheeta Salah off the edge for the first Boston College sack today. Jalen Cheek looks like he's covering. Boston College is showing man coverage. Pressure coming on third and 21. A flag is out. Sluka went down back at the 46. 
in the red zone once again where they've scored three touchdowns today. Fuller takes it, cuts back. He has the first down and more. Jordan Fuller inside the five, carrying Eagles toward the goal line. Touchdown, Holy Cross. Looking like his old man. Another touchdown. Him and Sluka both have over 100 yards rushing in this game. Oh, pressure coming and down goes Castellanos. True freshman Sterling Smith. Trust in the O-line here. Robichaux the carry and he gets the first down and more surging ahead for six. Cross offense and Matt Sluka versus Boston College defense led by Jeff Hafflin. One timeout for Holy Cross and a minute 58 on the clock. Sluka starts with a quarterback draw and picks up right where he left off. Matthew Sluka down the sideline on the first play out of the break and he stepped out of bounds. But a big run for Sluka into Boston College territory. With the pocket breaking down, Sluka lost the football, it's loose, De Palma diving for it, and Vinny De Palma's on the football, Boston College recovers, and the Eagles should survive. Credit to the fans who stuck around to see this, and you know, you, you, you know, no matter who you're rooting for, you don't want to see the game end on a fumble, you know, it's just, you feel badly for the kid, you remember the young know, 